I want to talk to you today about using the power of I am with your man. Because little is more powerful than this when you are at a, a crossroads or you need to actually have um, a coming together, an understanding, or actually getting your man to do something that you know as a woman needs to be done for your relationship to survive to thrive and hopefully go the distance. That's what we're all about. That's what I'm all about. I'm Coach Paula Grooms, a dating and relationship coach, licensed social worker, and author of the book, Why Won't He Commit? How a Man Decides to Make You the One. So let's get into it. What is this power of I am? Uh, there, there's a lot in our, um, in our world about this power. Uh, some come at it from a religious aspect, others come at it from a philosophical aspect or um, also a manifestation aspect. There's so much out there about it. I think it was um, Pastor Joel Osteen who even wrote a book, I Am, because what you say after I Am really avers a vows is very impactful and especially when it comes to your relationship with your man nothing really is more powerful than this in terms of of verbalizing if you must and you're going to say well paul it's you're, you're not supposed to really talk about the relationship and and all of that you have a lot out there about that and i do and subsequent videos you're going to see here will talk more about it. But a question came up when I put my last uh, video up about, well, what do you do when talking is your only option? I have to say, it's never your only option, but there is going to come a point where it, it's almost like a tipping point in your relationship where you might feel, I need to make some change here because it's not happening with my man. And also, there, there may be many of you who are at a place where I need to foster this change. And I can tell you one thing, if you are talking about him in terms of fostering the change, you're off track. You're really off track. You're trying to, and this is my next video, if you're watching backwards here, you know, you, you watch the most recent one and then you go backwards, is about advocating for your relationship. And I talk about the fact that most women are trying to advocate for the relationship. They're being the lobbyist for the relationship and it doesn't work if you're doing it via verbalization and not action. Why is that? That's simple. It's one of my gender gaps in my book. We women relate via verbalization. Men relate via action. So let's get back to, you, you have to know that, but we need to get back to this idea. If you feel you must speak and you are at a crossroads or you need to get something very important done, accomplished, changed in your relationship. It's the how you do it. And that's what I work with in my programs, because I have to say, you know, when I work with women, this is where they tend to go off track. And it's because we're all stuck in not being able to see the forest for the trees and not understanding and, and being emotional and, and, and desirous of what we want. That's so understandable. And I, I understand it. <laughs> but I, uh, I have to explain and, and keep my clients on track because the man in your relationship is not going to understand it the way you do. And if you are verbalizing about it and you keep advocating and you keep pushing about him, you are not going to get what you want. So. How do you do this I am? First of all, you must make a decision. It's crucial. You must make a decision that I'm actually going to affect change using this approach. But I can't do it halfway. I have to go all in. 
I have to be convinced. I am convinced that this will work. I am the power here that is going to affect change. So what do you say to him? Well, first, that's going to come from the decision. I don't know what that is for you, but I can give you some examples here. If the decision is that you are unhappy and you are not getting what you want because you see he is not as invested as you, he doesn't want the same things at this moment as you do, but you love each other. <laughs> well, you know that old saying, love conquers all? It can, but it doesn't always. Because people do want different things. So, what you must know, like you know your name, when you say I am and then your name, you must know what it is that you will and will not accept. But you don't put it in terms of him. I'm not going to accept the fact that you do XYZ. I want you to do XYZ. I want you to change. I need you to do this. Uh, why aren't we? Blah, 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 blah. Nope because it doesn't work. Here's the deal. If it worked, you wouldn't be here. Because I know if you are female, you can relate your feelings verbally. You are uh, capable of communication in that way. That's female. And that's us. But you are not going to get anywhere with a man. There are many psychological reasons why this is. Biological reasons why this is. But anyone trying to convince somebody else is really is really at a, a disadvantage okay but when you stand in your power of I am going to do this and then you do it that is beyond powerful for your man because then he will get into his feelings connect those feelings to what he is doing and then he can set about doing it and i also have quite a bit here i will always do more about the power for men of no contact it's meaning that you saying i am doing this i am deciding that this is right for me and then you do it. He then gets into his feelings. Things can change. There is nothing more powerful than of no more contact. Now, of course, that's dependent on what it is. But if you've decided you can't take anything in the relationship anymore or it's not working, even if you are just fighting, he needs a break. He's male. He does not... Uh, uh, actually fill himself up and work things out via verbalization like you do. You do that and you want to come to a resolution via verbalization. He does not. He needs to come to a resolution on his own in maybe his man cave and then come back to you with his decision. You are being what I call a worthy opponent here and men are all about sports and how they how they actually navigate in their life is about this worthy opponent strategy. Everything a man does in his life is vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, being a challenger, having competition, and then attempting to conquer. So when you show that you are that worthy opponent by, I am making this decision for myself because it's right for me, this shows being a worthy opponent. And that's what you must be and then execute, do. And it has to be kind, done with love, done with caring. That's what is so powerful. And then you walk away, whether it's for just a time, or if it's a breakup, it has to be really broken up. Um, you know, what happens for so many of us as women, we actually utilize the breakup 
in a way that's really, we're, we're not attached to it. We haven't made a firm decision. We just want something to change. So out of emotion, we break up and then we regret it. And then we go back. And boy, oh boy, is that lacking your I amness, your power, it doesn't work. But through no contact, I have to tell you, working with women and being a coach for women in the dating and relationship space, my goodness, I have, I mean, to, to, to the um, date that I am uh, giving this to you, I have never seen a, a client's guy not come back. I always say to my clients, if you do this and you do it the way I'm outlining it for you and we work on this together, he will be back. I can't tell you when, but I can for sure tell you he will be back. So I know there's a lot to unpack here because you may not be in a place of breaking up, but you need something else in the relationship. The same idea will work for you, meaning that if you say, I am going to do this because I feel this, that, and the other thing. And that's it. And then you do it. Remember, men relate via action. Then he will have a chance to think about it if you go away for a while and you don't keep the contact up. Let him predicate the contact. Let him do the, the timeline on it. And you stand in your knowing, in your knowing that I am right in this. I am. I know this. And I am going to do it. And I'm going to stand in my feminine power with it. Because I know it. Because I'm all about relationships. Yes, as women we are. And we know. So you must stay in that knowing. So I'm going to do more on this, but I hope this clarifies some of the, the, the videos you're going to see coming up here. And also, uh, because I had a question uh, on my channel about this, I wanted to clarify what you can do when the verbalization and the talking, talking, talking to him gets you nowhere. And I know this for sure. If you are doing that, you are getting nowhere. And you are slowly eroding his desire. So let's stop it. So until next time, set about thinking about this. Don't just go and act because decide. Come to a decision. And then you are in a powerful space of I am. And that is what will work. Until next time. I trust you got a lot of good information from today's video and I enjoy bringing you content that is valuable for success in your romantic life. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the alert bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you want more on any of the content you see here, you can go to my book, Why Won't He Commit? How a Man Decides to Make You the One. You can order it at any fine retailer where you get your books. And if you want more on me or any of my programs, my podcast, go to coachpaulagrooms.com and we could be talking soon.